think something new under the sun mm. You can't take back them things you already done, done No You blame things that you do on somebody else Aboriginal protects our entrance. Fluffy sheepskin bike seat cover for my bike. So this is where you can start to see that our one apartment is two apartments. So on this side is one apartment and then through this opening is the second apartment and the owners two times before us were the ones that broke through and made these two apartments one apartment. We have the largest apartment in the entire building. We pay like two body corporates, we pay two electric bills, literally they're two apartments. So we both have our own walk-in closets. On this side is Max's and on this side is mine. Let's go to Max's first. three bathrooms in this apartment, so I think that's awesome. And we call this the rainbow bathroom for obvious reasons, but it's been designated as the laundry room. So this is like our utility laundry room, which is nice to have in a European apartment. The reason why we actually chose this apartment is for this space. So again, this is two apartments. So we have the whole kitchen that flows into this living room. So, welcome to our living room. So some of my favorite things in this room is this Persian rug. This was a birthday gift from my father and many of you guys may or may not know about Persian rugs, but to find a pink one with like pastel blue, it's super rare and it's an Iranian rug. So it's really high quality. And you can see here, made in Iran. So this rug is very precious to me and it fits perfectly in this room. One of my other favorite things in this room is this picture of my mom in the 70s in a train station. I love this. I love her hair. I love the light. And this picture of Estelle we took a couple years ago in Switzerland. Estelle's my stepdaughter. She like just came to life in those mountains. Then we have the workout corner. So this is like our home gym. We just sort of got this part of the living room put together. Is this the work? This is the gym? <laughs> so obviously we want more space for gym, but we don't have more space. So everything goes back here. So we sort of figured out that like all of our straps and balls and weights and blocks and all sorts of stuff just goes in here and we can just pull out a mat and chuck it over there where there's more space. Yeah, this is Costa Rica. My dad gave me this painting for Christmas some years ago. So this is a aquamarine geode that Max, actually like my mom got from her gem dealer, Mohammed in Afghanistan <laughs> and Max bought it. How beautiful is this? Our kitchen. So I have to admit, 
admit I'm not like super pumped on our kitchen. It's like very apartment modern European kitchens. I would prefer to have a gas cooktop. It's an induction cooktop. Um, definitely first world problems because this space actually completely works for us. We cook 90% of our meals and this kitchen has done super well for us. this print for Max for one of his birthdays and it's by an artist Alpha Channeling. I found them on Instagram. Check out their Instagram account if you like erotic, beautifully drawn drawings. one of my favorite other things in the apartment. It's oak and it's by Bolia, which is a Danish, I believe, furniture design. And the chairs also are Bolia. And this was like one of the purchases I made when we first moved in here. And it's like our first proper dining table. I've always, we've always just had like dining tables that were in the house that we bought or lived in. And so we've never had our own, but this is our first and we love it. So this part of the kitchen also holds, I would say, one of my other top five favorite things in this apartment, and it is this Sage <laughs> machine. I never thought I'd be the kind of person who would just go total coffee hobby Gucci machine, but I did. And one of the reasons I chose this is because you can just put the beans on the top. I didn't like generating all those Nespresso capsule wastes. So this, you just chuck the beans in here and I can curate and cultivate and get whatever beans I want, which really I enjoy. And I love this machine. where we keep like our daily mugs and cups, but do any of you guys have this thing where you basically use like the same two cups and mugs like all the time? So basically like, I don't even know why I have so many because I sort of just always use this or this. These are the Royal Danish porcelain, which I love. Um, they're a little awkward though, because this is a silicone sleeve. So like when you clean it, like you have to take the sleeve off and stuff. And this is one of my other favorite things in the apartment is this fairy ring because I believe in magic. And then my stepchildren, Finn and Estelle, at the Gertianum when they were really little. Look at how cute this picture is. And my dragon, who needs some horn mending. If any of you guys know any good wood craftsmen, let me know, because he needs some horns. And we just recently set up this little standing working desk for me so I can stand here and, you know, this is like the, what's it with the sh at the head of the helm of a ship? What's that called when you're at the, like the bridge? bridge? I feel like I'm at the bridge when I'm standing here flying the craft of my life. And all my cookbooks, I am really into cookbooks. Like my husband is totally a natural chef, but I need cookbooks for ideas and just to understand sauce processes and different things like that. These are the ones I use the most, some of them way more than others. We actually use this one the most. This this is Green Kitchen at Home. They're a Scandinavian couple and they have created beautiful cookbooks and I love their recipes. They're, they're actually my favorite. Oh, hello. Welcome to my office. So this is, this is where I do a lot of my work. Got a nice little desk that goes up and down automatically computer station, 
my jungle plants. wide hallway that's actually max's office there but i took this space because to be fair it's more like my office storage area i don't actually sit in here i haven't sat in here in a really long time but yeah it's where i keep all of the office stuff which my desk is right now more like a transition project area than uh, a workspace so we're just getting ready for the talk to the entity summit that's happening next month so we're getting stuff organized for that this is the extra room that's like the project room in the house. It's usually Estelle's bedroom when she's here, but since she's not been allowed to leave Australia for <laughs> nearly a year and a half, this room has sort of become like, you know, the tip room. This is like where the projects happen. Probably a lot of you guys have these sorts of rooms in your life. So I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you the patio. And we're very lucky because we've got two of these with the two apartments where other apartments actually don't have any. Now what we did is planted some ivy plants here in pots to create a bit of a privacy screen from the neighbors because all the other apartments are really close here. And we have a nice little potting table behind us here as well, which makes it so much easier to deal with all of our home plants because we basically created a little rainforest inside. This is our second patio. This is a nice long one and we have our herbs out on here, little seating area. bedroom where the magic happens. I'm gonna say my last favorite thing about this apartment is our Heston's bed. If any of you guys know Heston's, it's considered like the best bed in the world. They're Swedish made and they're handmade. They're horsehair and wool. And it's like, the longer we have this bed, like the more insanely comfortable it gets. This is like the thing I miss the most when we're away is this bed. Our bedroom is pretty small. It's definitely not like a grand master bedroom, but it's the master bedroom and it has a big patio off of it. This is my first time in my adult life that I have a TV in front of my bed. I have a lot of conflicts about this, but I'm gonna tell you what, I love it. So this curtain is a design by a very popular Swedish illustrator. This is like, I would consider like one of the very traditional Scandinavian design artists. We forgot to show you one thing and that's our grounding blanket that we have on our bed. When I lift this up, we've got this underneath and it's basically like stainless steel fibers, like really fine ones that go through the fabric here. So on this side of the bed is where we have it plugged in. And you can see it's plugged into the fabric here. And when I unplug this, you can see on the earthing points, it's live, but on the on the actual electricity points, it's not. So it's literally just earthing into the ground through the earthing cables of the building. So what grounding is, when our bodies aren't touching the earth, they create a negative charge and that negative charge builds up. So when you touch the ground, there's a balancing that happens and the negative charge goes and the positive charge from the earth, which is created from the electricity of the earth, like the lightning and the water and the, the balance of that electrical charge. When you're sleeping on this at nighttime, your body discharges into the earth and the earth can actually contribute to your body in this way.
So that's the end of the apartment tour. Home tour. I don't know if you're interested, but there you go. There's our apartment. I personally really love watching people's home tours, so that's why I did one. We were actually watching the footage ourselves just beforehand, and I was like, that place looks really awesome. <laughs> I love living here. Um, Shannon has a very particular style, which I really appreciate. I call it child chic. <laughs> I don't even know what this to call style. it. I don't even know what to call this style. Child unicorn chic. <laughs> Together, how we create it is a very put together place, vignettes, like all the things that we really love, the things that contribute to our lives. Uh, it's nice having space where everything that's in the apartment or nearly everything in the apartment actually contributes. What we mean by contributes is like, I don't know if you guys have watched Marie Kondo. <laughs> and if you haven't watched Marie Kondo's show on Netflix, you, I highly recommend it. I like love her. I haven't read her books, but I watched her when we first moved in here and I had a lot of stuff to get rid of from Australia mm. um, and it really helped me to get um, clear on what my reality of the things that contribute to me and the things that I was just holding on to that I thought were a good idea and that I might use someday but I never would have. Yeah she's got like a really great system for assisting in all sorts of areas like even like old papers and stuff. Her whole thing is like does this spark joy but my dad has like been teaching me that forever like like he also sort of brought my attention to something like over the years I'd like lose things or things would get broken it might be because like they were sort of like done b being in my life they no longer were a contribution or because they wanted to leave I would say 90% of everything in this apartment is still like totally a yes for it being here it, it does bring joy it is a contribution it's not just like taking up space or like a good idea I feel like this like novice person who's like never lived in a house before or something where I'm like having this like epiphany about like why does it feel so good to be home and it's because like every single thing here like is a contribution to me like literally directly so that's kind of awesome for a sort of a lifelong gypsy it's like this new chapter of domestication I would say I probably still have about 30% of things in my office cupboard that um, are not relevant oh my God. <laughs> so that's the something closet. I need to go through it's a lot of old technology stuff that I've kept because I might use it or need it. Max needs like a whole studio somewhere else to keep all that stuff. <laughs> but I don't need 30% of that stuff, that's the thing. Right. <laughs> so we do own this apartment. I really wanted to own something. We actually don't know how big this place is because we've lost the like papers. <laughs> like the, like, you know, when you like sign over and you like own the papers. I like have no idea where those are. I'm not even sure if it was written on there necessarily. It was, it was. I think it's like 190 square meters, give or take. I have no idea. You can't honest. even tell just by sensing the apartment? No, I'm like weird with spaces and being able to tell how big they it's are. It's like 190 square meters, <laughs> give <laughs> or take. I don't know if they measure the balconies. I don't know if, because the balcony is actually quite big, but. The reason we live in an apartment in Europe is like totally a lifestyle choice. It was a lifestyle choice that was chosen pre-March 2020, so it was supposed to be like an easy base to like fly in and fly out of, which it was, and then obviously the world changed, so we've done a lot less traveling, even though on in two days we're now leaving again for like another month and a half to two months, yes. but it's just easy to close it up. It's totally a lifestyle choice of why we live in an apartment in Europe rather than like a property, which both of us would love to actually live on. They require a lot. Like when we lived in Australia, we had two and a half acres and it just required constantly. It was pulling yeah. on us constantly to like input and input. Whereas this place, we just need someone to manage the rainforest and um, we're okay. <laughs> uh, otherwise known as water the plants, <laughs> which we do. I hope you enjoyed the apartment tour. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be posting more of these every, well, every two weeks, there's a vlog. And the liking and the subscribing does contribute to me and the channel and it makes the videos more robust on YouTube, which who knows if it matters, but let's give it a try! Bye guys!